Hey everyone, it's Buck, and I'm back with another stuff. Today is Saturday, May 7th, and it's the morning time. It's actually roughly 9 a.m. Central Time, and I hope you guys are doing well. I'm excited to talk to you guys today. Just a quick little video update here. We're going to talk about the drop coming up here in one hour. We're going to talk about the... Um, we're just going to shout out some Reddit, shout, talk about the own price, and have you guys on your way. Um, the drop is coming in one hour, so some of you guys are going to be watching this, and the drop will have already happened. Um, so I'm excited to kind of theory craft here, and you guys can tell me how crazy I am. Um, I'm excited to talk about it, guys. Um, whew, I hope you guys are doing well. I'm doing great. Just a couple quick updates. Um, I went for a walk this morning, went and got myself some candies. These are Airheads Extremes. Um, I got these like a week ago, and man, they are so good. I had to get a second one, guys. If you don't know about them, try them out. You know, I'm always trying new stuff, right? Um, walked to the um, uh, gas station, got those candies, got my coffee going already. I slept in more than usual. I woke up only at 8 a.m., guys, which is obviously way later than usual. I was up late, playing some games, just hanging out. But... I'm excited to talk to you guys today. Other than that, really not much else. My squirrel is here. He's just hanging out right over here. I wish I could just, like, show you guys without causing a problem, but I'm on my laptop uh, webcam, you know. But my squirrel's here. Roger's here. He's my favorite squirrel. Um, he ca he's he been coming to me every day. I give him some bird seed. He's just out there. Um, if he eats all the bird seed, he literally just walks right into my apartment like he owns the place. He literally just walks in here. He'll walk into my kitchen. He'll just walk all over the place. Um, he just, like, walks around like he owns the place. But um, with Roger, though, um, I've been making good, you know, I've been trying to get closer and closer with him. So I've been petting him on the head. You know, it's funny. Really quick before we get started, you know, I started out trying to pet Roger all wrong. I was trying to, like, kind of reach to his side and, like, pet his back, and I was going to try to pet his back. That was a mistake, and I realize that now. Squirrels don't like it when your hands go out of sight. So, basically, I can pet him if I literally, like, put my finger, like, right in front of his head, and I put it right on the top of his head, right in front of his eyes, because he doesn't get scared by that. But if I put my hand behind him, he gets... He thinks that I'm going to do something crazy. So, lesson learned. Anyways, guys, let's talk about the drop. We got the battle statues coming up. I'm going to switch to the browser here. I'm going to try to. I may have to do the property swap here. Feels like it. Let me just do that. Okay, so we've got the drop coming up today, guys. We've got the DC battle statues. We've got the Superman and Flash. This is a cool piece of art, guys. This is a cool one. I'm excited for this one, guys. Um, just really quick, want to say we've got 8,888 editions and price is $120. So with that being said, this is going to be a pretty high value drop, like a high profit drop for VV, I think, here. Um, you know, we do have first appearance, the Flash on VV. Um, very cool. Um, I'm going to go for it. I've got the gems for it. I'm going to try to grab myself one of these guys. I think they look very cool. Um, you know, I'm going to hope for it. Um, I really want to talk about the price though. I mean, that's really what we need to talk about guys, because I've been theory crafting and I've been seeing a, like in my mind, I can see a world where it does, you know, I've seen a few people say it's going to drop around to retail. Do I think that? No, but I could see a world where that happens, right? I could see a world where that happens. The main reason is we've got 8,888 editions and the price is 120. We could easily see this thing hit the secondary market for $100. We could also easily hit it, see it hit the secondary market for the 140 mark, you know? So those are kind of my guesses, you know? Maybe it goes under retail and it goes for 100 I think it might, personally, I think that it will go above retail, but... Who knows, guys? I could be wrong about that. Um, I could see it getting up to, I could see it somewhere in the 100 range if it's below retail and 140 if it's above retail. I don't foresee this being a huge, like, swing in either direction, no matter what. If you hit this piece, I expect you to basically more or less break even. Um, I don't expect you to have some kind of big gain. Um, Let's talk about the comic drop from yesterday. I did go for the comic drop, and I got lucky as heck, guys. I got an uncommon on that common drop yes, comic drop yesterday. I ended up selling it right away. Um, got Bought the comic for 7 sold it for 21 Just a classic triple up to take my profits. Um, sometimes I do that. Um, you know, the comic is supposed to be a nice one, so maybe I end up grabbing them. Um, but who knows, guys. Um, I'm excited for this drop, though. I think it looks pretty cool. I, th I'm, I want it in my collection, personally. I want it. So um, I'm excited about it, guys. I really am. Um, just to kind of talk some absolute classic sense into you guys. 
Um, that's where I'm at with it. I'm going for it. I think it's cool. Um, I think that the price will drop and it will be, you know, give or take 20% from the current price, maybe 25% either direction. So that's my take on it, guys. Um, yeah. I also opened up Reddit. Maybe we don't need to really shout out too many homies. Let's just shout out all the homies we see on here. Okay, guys. We got Crown Crypt. We've got uh, Reserve Brief. We've got Day Drinking with Bob, of course. We've got MF Dyson. We've got Max O Max. We've got Granola Warfare, my homie, Granola Warfare. And of course, we got Palace NFT. Shout out to all the Palace homies out there. Let's go. Let's go. And then we've also got Omi's price trading at 0 0.0020700. Omi can be your Omi. I'm not going to be your daddy and nothing in this video is financial advice. And you guys already know that. I hope you guys are doing well, guys. Um, just a last little bit of a uh, quick update here to give you guys a quick little look into the future. i um, going to go for the drop here in an hour. Um, today's going to be a pretty solid day. Um, the weather is finally warming up here in the Midwest. If you are in the Chicago area or, you know, anywhere, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's starting to get warmer and Monday is when it's going to finally be like summertime officially, or it's going to feel like it, um, feel like we're in some nice weather. I'm so excited. Today's going to be a nice day. Um, tomorrow's going to be okay. Not bad, but not great. But then Monday, starting Monday, it's going to start being like literally amazing out. So I'm so excited, guys. We're right around the corner from great weather. I'm feeling fantastic. On top of that, we also have a UFC card on today. We have um, Charles Oliveira uh, versus Justin Gaethje. I have no idea who's going to win, you know. I have no idea who's going to win. I mean, in theory, I think Charles Oliveira has a slightly is favored. I, I would give Charles Oliveira the edge personally as well. So that's really all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys have a fantastic Saturday, guys. Seriously, we made it to the weekend. We deserve some relaxation. We deserve some fun. Let's go ahead and enjoy some drop. Let's go ahead and enjoy the weekend, guys. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.